Oh, look, we can already see a ton of people down here. Look, that is absolutely fantastic. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa. And here we are in Teville. Now, today we're going to look at increasing the traffic even more. As you've seen in previous videos, I've got hardly any traffic in this city. We've got lots of walking options. I've not used mass transit yet, and I'd like to start adding some of that in. Now, we're using the real-time mod which means traffic can ebb and flow, increase and decrease depending on the time of day when people get up, when they go to work, go to school, come back from work and school, all that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit and watch my city throughout the day take note of when the traffic gets to the worst and see what we can do to fix it. So if we just come out of the view of following this uh, truck here through our city and have a look at our traffic, we are at 90%. So I've seen it go up to 95, it goes down to 88, it sort of bobs up and down, but the time of day is 328, as we can see in the bottom left down here. I'm going to speed through the game and people are going to start finishing work around 6 o'clock. So I'm going to see what the traffic looks like around about then. And then we might put some buses in. We've also got access to Metro and a tram as well. Maybe we shall see how we will go. So let me do that and I'll be back with you once the traffic starts to kick in. Okay, here we go. It is 6.36 and the traffic is starting to drop down. 85% we've got to. Just taking a look at the other areas over here <laughs> where we've got industry. Hardly any traffic at all, but we're down to 85%. And you can see, look, we've got all these people now coming in and out of these areas here. And these are people that are all heading home that are not using mass transit. So I want to sort of keep an eye on that. Here we go. We're getting a bit busier over here as well. I say they're not using mass transit because we haven't got any. I meant they're not walking. So there we go. A little bit busier there. But look, here we go. We're starting to get red here. Starting to get a bit chock-a-block, which is something the real-time mod likes to do. Let's just jump out of this. We're still getting a lot of people walking, which is good. But overall, look, this is really getting busy. People are coming down here. They're coming over this road. So the worst we're going to get to is 79. So we can see already it's getting back up to 85, 86, 87. So we had about an hour or two at the most where it dropped down to the low 70s. So I'm going to see whether we can fix that. I mean, I say fix it in inverted commas because that really isn't that bad. But I want to keep on top of the traffic before we expand some more. So I'm going to see if we can fix that by putting some buses into our city. Oh, by the way, while I think about it, I had a ton of comments about this roundabout here in our university area, which we're going to get to naming uh, towards the end of this video. Thank you for all the suggestions, and thank you for letting me know about the huge mistake I made on this roundabout. So let me just fix that up right away. There we go. Brilliant. Like it. Very good. Right, let's carry on with setting up our buses. So we're definitely going to want to have buses running to the areas where our people live. So we've got a lot of people living up here lovely nice warm toasty area to live in up here and then we've got a lot of people living in this area here lots of grids at the moment don't worry that will change as we expand more into our map and then i think we need to get buses down here into this area too uh, our university area so i'm thinking um let us try and set up an area where we can put our bus depots we've got the choice we've got bus depot we've got biofuel bus depot and i do like the biofuel bus depot and we have the bus station now i would like to set up a hub for our bus station and pick somewhere that is not too in the way for everything else and people can come and change and it's sort of a little bit central we've got this highway road coming down here and i'm looking at this spot here and thinking this could be a very good spot for our bus so i'll tell you what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this road here i'm gonna use my net picker because i'm lazy to try and find the road and we're going to continue that one up till about the middle here and i'll connect that through there because why not and i think i'm going to put my bus station on here um this isn't too busy so normally I wouldn't have junctions this close but it's not that busy so it's fine we'll keep that going and um, i am going to remove the traffic lights from there 
because I want that to be give way. Let's just check the other end. Yeah, I want that to be give way. That'll automatically remove the traffic light. Keep that main road going. And we're going to put our bus station on here. So we'll pop that right in the middle there. And that is going to become our hub. And we could also add some metro near this when the time comes. So we'll see how we go. And then, of course, we want... Should we have our biofuel bus depot here as well? I think that might be a good idea. Do you know what I'm going to do? Just to make it interesting... I'm going to grab this road here and I'm going to run that up the side there and we're going to pop that around the back because why the heck not? There we go. Bus depot and yeah, bus station. Cool. So now we can start setting up some lines all over the place. Now we do have roads with dedicated bus lanes, which at the moment I don't think we need. If in the future we need to change that, we will. So, right, okay, bus lane one is in, or bus line one is in. It uh, goes around this little residential area up here and pops into the tea farm district down here. I might just add one stop down here. Yeah, I think that'll be fine up there. So it takes in the industry over here and um, it takes in we've got shops down the bottom here we've got shops up the side we've got this little shop and park area we've got our school and yeah that's pretty good so people will walk quite happily to these stops and what i've done as well i've avoided putting the stops on the main road they're all off to the side uh, on the little side road so we're not clogging up this main road going down here um, something else I've done over here as well as I have upgraded this road to have the bus lanes either side So just a little basic large road with bus lanes. I've done that down there And then I've also used this little one way this one here beta bus way one way To just come in here go one way past our bus station and then back out again um, just to try and keep the buses a little bit separate. I'm assuming that other people are going to drive on that. Yeah, unless we tell them not to. So let's use Traffic Manager. We're going to take this Vehicle Restrictions here. And we're going to say, if we take that slot there. Hold Shift, Ban All Vehicles. Hopefully that will do both. No, okay. So we'll do Ban All Vehicles, Ban All Vehicles. All the way along these segments here. There we go. And then what we'll say is if we hold shift, we'll say, yeah, we're happy to have buses. So buses, buses. And that should do, yeah, everyone between the nodes. And then this one we'll have to do here. Buses, buses. And that's fine. Yeah, so just buses going down there now just to keep that traffic separate. Right, so let me add a couple of other routes in as well to help these people here. Okay, we have two more lines put in. So we've got one line that sort of takes in the uh, residential up here and goes down to our districts down here. Um, I could run that over here into Meadow Park and add one more stop. Let's just drag that and drop that there to circle around and come back. Very good. And then we've got this one up here. This residential comes down here. I'm going to add a stop from that uh, in here to our other industry area there we go and back up again so that's those two areas taken care of and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to have some main direct lines coming from here go into specific places around my city so we're going to start here we're going to have one line going from there all the way to our university area and anywhere around here will do because it will stop uh, people can get out and walk and then yeah so i think actually we might just do two we'll do one here off the main road there We'll do one there. Or let's do it the other way around. We'll do one there. On the way out, we'll do one there. And then it will come back up again. There we go. That's one direct line. So that's going to be our university direct line. Then we're going to have a second direct line that goes from here up to this area at the top. And I'm going to put it... Let's just turn that off there. Over here near to our park. So we're going to have that on the other side of the road. Now at the minute, if I'm popping it in there, it's coming all the way up here, all the way through these other districts, all the way through this one junction that we've got here on our highway, all the way through to here, which I don't want to do. So I would like to add, for some reason I've got onto my eye candy on, a separate little bus road that comes through here to help hook that up. So I'm just looking at our little bus lanes that we've got here, these beta busways. And I might just add something coming off of here and running here and connecting connecting to this road here. I mean, something a little bit different. Why not? So if we go page up, can I get up and over the top here? I can. And to there. Page down again the other side. 
just wondering where we could connect that to. I mean, we could connect it up to here, but we've got a lot of stuff going on there. So I'm going to connect it up to here. There we go. So I've banned everybody but buses all the way up to this area here. So our direct line now can go. Let's grab this. We're going to have that one there. And that hopefully is going to come straight up here. Yes, it is. Fantastic. And we're going to bring it over to here. Yeah, we can see it there. It's lighting up. Very nice. We're going to put that on the other side of the road. And that is it. That is all that one is going to do. And back to here again. There we go. We're going to call that one a West Side Direct. Because, yeah, that is, in my mind, the West Side of the city. Fantastic. And then I want another direct line that comes up over to here. So let's add that one in as as well and again these aren't going to have any stops on the main road they're literally going to go there and back again and maybe people will want to come from up this area transfer to here go to the university that is roughly the idea that we're going for um, let's put a direct line up around here somewhere i think here could be quite good right there so that is near this line and near that line so let's just see where that is going if we do that side of the road to come up and then when it comes back let's just turn that on yeah it's going up there and down there perfect that's what we want there we go so we're going to call that one sort by line name there we go it's now number six so we've got west side direct this is north side direct and that is probably pretty much everything we need. Let's make that one light blue. I've got auto line color, but it makes the shades too close together. So I'll do it myself. So we've got direct line to here, direct line to here, direct line to our university. So it's going to be interesting to see how that affects the use of our, uh, of our uh, city. The use of the cars and the roads and the traffic. There we go. We've got these nice little buses going around. We can adjust what buses are on these lines so let's just take a look what options we have our direct ones i'd actually like those to be a larger bus yeah they still only hold 30 people so what i might do is get myself between episodes a larger bus uh, they hold 30 school bus holds 30 by a few yeah it all holds 30 these actually hold less but i like the look of these as an intercity bus so we're going to use those for our direct lines oh look we can already see a ton of people down here look wanting to come and change to go over to some separate lines that is absolutely fantastic oh that is really cool that is really cool i've actually just been dropping down the number of buses that we've got on each line but we may just have to increase on our direct line let's just go back into here again so that is our red one university direct line uh, i've got Four vehicles on there. I dropped it down from like 13. But there's quite a few people waiting there. These are empty. So I think, yeah, once they've done the route a few times, they'll change. That's fine. But look, there's loads of vehicles on these ones here. So I am going to go through and just make sure, yeah, we don't need that many vehicles. So I normally drop them down to roughly about half and then let it run for a while. And then we'll see how that goes. And there is actually one more route I would like to add in is from our university to our one. I call this one population center, second and third population center. So it just literally goes backwards and forwards to those. Um, so I am going to pop that in over here. There we go. That just goes all the way around the city. So that is going to be our university line. There we go. Line number seven. We're going to change what that looks to maybe this one here until we get a nice bigger bus change that to yellow and that is our university line not the direct line the other line good so let me run the city for a while let's see how these buses go and then uh, i'll be back with you okay it's coming up to that time of day again on a thursday as we can see bottom left hand corner coming up to half past six and normally by now this would be filling up with traffic we're still around the between 85 to 90 percent sort of amount of traffic we are getting a few more cars coming through here dropping down a little bit i'm assuming but it's not yeah, it's nowhere near dropping down as much as before which is fantastic. We can keep it above 80% during this rush hour period. That would just be great. That is doing really well. Look, half past seven. And that's going to start creeping up again. 83. That is not too shabby. I think we could probably help a little bit more with some buses. But that has increased our traffic flow. Definitely. Look, the traffic starting to go down now. This is going back up. 
87, 88. That is really, really good. Wow, that is nice. So 290 per 40 minutes. It's different figures on here, but lots of passengers. It's only been like 10 minutes since we started it. So yeah, we're going to let that one run. Oh my goodness, 20 vehicles on that stop. Yeah, we'll be changing. Oh, 200 people. <gasps> Where's that? That is up here. 200 people want to take our direct line bus. And there it is to the university. Absolutely brilliant. So we definitely need bigger buses along here. I did put that stop on the main road just because it's a dead end and there's not much going on up here. We could maybe just change that road to one with a bus lane on. I don't think there's a small one with four lanes and bus lanes. These might be too big. Yeah, too big. We'll leave it like that. But yeah, that shows that all these areas here want to get a direct line to the university. Brilliant. So something worth keeping in mind when you check how many buses you need for your lines is in a normal game without the real time mod, you can just do that whenever you like. Let the game run for a bit and see how you go. But of course now it's the time when people are going to work. So we are going to get more people, look, waiting on lines. Oh, that's our university line. We're going to get more people waiting on lines than we usually would. So now is the time to check all your lines and have the right amount of buses in because, I, yeah, I've dropped mine down and now there's lots of people waiting at various stops. Look, and we need more buses. So, yes, I'm definitely going to adjust that. I think I might just go off and get some bigger buses for my direct lines as well. Okay, I've gone through and increased my bus lines. We can see all the buses heading out. I had a quick look on the Steam Workshop, but it seems down. I searched for bus and it says there's no buses on the Steam Workshop. So obviously something is wrong there. So I'll get that sorted out between episodes. But at the moment, let's just speed this up. All those new buses, there we go, are heading out into the city to deal with all the people that want to travel about. So while the game is running along and we're seeing how our buses go, I just wanted to do a little tip for roundabouts here. We're using these two-lane roundabouts. The main road that we're using through here is two-lane in each direction. So this can work particularly well. Um, we don't have a huge amount of traffic as we've said, but sort of future-proofing this thing. This is something that I would do, and this is going to help as well once it gets to busier times of the day. So I'm going to use this tool down here, the junction restrictions. And for each of these entrances onto the roundabout, I'm going to say you can pick whichever lane you wish to go into. And that is necessary because the next step we're going to do is say that this road here, we're going to have one lane for going off right and one lane for going straight on. If we didn't pick here, pick a lane, if we didn't use that pick a lane thing here, they would get stuck in whichever lane they were in. But now they can pick their lane when they enter and then they can use one of these to go off and one to go straight on. So now that's going to sort of help the AI in the game. It's going to help the cars to pick a lane that they want and use both lanes going into a roundabout, which sometimes they get a bit uh, stuck, gets a bit hawky-borky. But now we can see they can use both lanes. And you notice that bus there changed from this lane to that lane as he went round. That's where we want them changing this little bit in here, not sort of in the middle or getting in each other's way and all that sort of thing. So made that little change and that will definitely help as things go on. So I'm going to do that to the other roundabouts as well. Okay, so as we've seen a few times during this video, this little section here in our industry area does tend to get quite busy. So we are going to make a little change here with some of the things. We're going to move this oil power plant. We'll just pop that uh, yeah, we'll just pop that down there out of the way. We're going to take our firehouse, pop that next to it there as well. Clean up some space here because we are going to change this road. Yep, it's no longer going to be two roundabouts. It is finally going to be changed into one oblongabout. Uh, we haven't had one of those for a while. Which way is this road going? There we go. And these are nicely lined up. Ah, oh, let's just shorten that, remove that, and we'll rebuild that back in again. There we go. Excellent. And I think that is going to help the traffic move around much better. Could we actually have those connect to there? Why not? Let's have those connect to there and see how it goes. They're quite close together, but that should be okay. And then before we open this to the public, let's use that. Hold shift. 
and left click put all our giveaway signs in and then i might just do the same thing here saying because uh, we know this is going to be busy when you come in pick your junction pick your junction pick your junction when you come in there we go don't we need another connection there do we know that's fine pick your pick your lane i mean not pick your junction pick your lane pick your lane when you come in yeah, that's good. And then we'll go around here and say each one of these. Now, we do have, for instance, this road here. There is a node there. As you can see, there's a little gap. So they could change lanes there, but I'd rather them pick here. That is just going to work so much better. And then we'll just have that one outside lane for turning off. And that should all work perfectly fine. Let's just finish that, and then we'll unpause and see how it goes. There we go, and there we go, and finally this one here. There we go, excellent. So that should work much, much better. Let's just zoom in on that and speed up and save us getting a load of traffic there, which would be which would be fantastic. We probably could do with maybe smoothing out the roads there when they come on. But do you know what? I think that's okay. And if we wanted to, we could even add another little connection on here. But that is just going to keep things humming along nicely. Well, I've just been looking through the names for the university that you've all been handily sticking in the comments for the last video. And there is so many to go through. And it's Friday afternoon. This is the last thing I'm doing before the weekend. So I'm just going to leave it to a Monday. I just want to leave it to a Monday. So I will get to naming them in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out the next video on the screen as well. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you next week. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.